yo hey guys I'm back with a new video so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you all how to pick up a weapon using proximity prompt so this tutorial was requested by one of my viewers and thanks for requesting it because I was out of ideas but now I got a great idea to implement into the uh, base plate anyways let's begin so first we need a tool which we should be getting from the toolbox or any tool you have so I'll just get a Roblox official sword right here so before scripting the proximity prompt stuff uh, we need to do another thing so this tool has something called touch interest in the handle so each every tool in Roblox has this and whenever we touch it it will equip it we don't want that to happen so let me just show you what I mean um, so if I run to the um, sword, it will equip it. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to be showing you all how to do that. You ca you can just delete this, but it will keep on coming. Um, so, whoops. Um, I'm going to quickly show you all how to fix it. So I'm going to put a script in the handle, right? In the handle, okay? There's always a handle in every tool. Inside of it, I'm going to just name the script, I don't know, child handler and here we're gonna first get the handle just uh, so it's script up parent and then we're gonna delete the touch interest by saying handle dot touch interest destroy but it will just keep on coming so for that we're gonna say handle dot child added connect to a function so this is an event and it's gonna return the child here so um so child added is basically when i destroy it if it comes back it will detect if a child is added into this handle then we will again destroy it so child destroy but we just we need to make sure that it's the touch interest which is coming so if child dot name equals to touch interest then um we are going to destroy the child so um, so the touch interest is just gonna do the work and keep on deleting if it comes back so yeah that's done now I think it won't, wo it won't uh, automatically um, equip the tool if you see here it's not working that's great now I'm gonna go to the part where we put the proximity prompt so in the handle again I'm gonna put a proximity prompt right here so uh, inside of it I'm gonna put a script you can name the script anything you want I'm gonna name it handler alright um, so this proximity prompt you can change anything you want here I'm gonna give it a whole duration of 0.5 to make it really cool I don't know um, so the handle um, is gonna the handler is gonna basically do the thing we want it to do so first we need to get the tool which is gonna be script script dot parent dot parent dot parent so script dot parent is the proximity prompt and another parent is the handle and the parent of the handle is the classic sword which we want to take so there's two ways we can do the equipping thing we can just um, uh, change the parent of the tool to the backpack of the player which will not equip the tool but it will put it in the backpack so you can equip the tool but the next thing we can do is the um, equip the tool without um, pressing one to equip it like we're gonna just give it to the player without putting it in the backpack so that's what I'm gonna do because that that looks more better and cool um so anyways uh, let me show you how to do that so we need to get the prompt oh sorry it's basically the proximity prompt we're getting okay if you all just okay I'll just put it like that so now we just need to um, call an event called triggered so this proximity prompt has an event called triggered which will basically detect whenever we press E and it will return the player too so since it returns the player we can get the character there's an easy way to get the character we can just basically say local character it's the game wait for ch uh, I mean 
workspace with a child and player dot name because in the workspace the character always is there with the player name so obviously we can just check the player name in the workspace and get it and then we can now get the humanoid um and it's going to be humanoid all right then um since we now triggered it we're going to disable proximity prompts enabled so we're going to put it to false so the player cannot just spam the e button right now we just need to uh, give the tool to the to the player so to do this since we got the humanoid if you can go to object browser right here and if you can go to humanoid there's a there's a function called equip tool so um it is there in the humanoid and then we should uh, put the tool which we want to equip in the parenthesis so that is the easiest way we can do this so we just say humanoid equip tool in the parenthesis we're going to put this this variable oh my god okay so now it will equip the tool um so this is pretty much it so now if we just play it i think it will work So, as you can see, it says press E to interact, and we um, got it. Now I'm going to be showing you all how to send it to the backpack instead of the player uh, equipping it. So, that's pretty easy. It's a small change. So, I'm just going to quickly delete this, give the tool to the player equip tool, and we're going to get another thing here. So, we need to get the backpack of the player, which is the easiest thing we can do so uh, if I can type backpack correctly um so player dot backpack will return the place backpack then tool dot parent takes to backpack that's pretty much it so now if I just start the game and um, hold E I get it to my backpack so that's two ways you can do it yeah that's pretty much it guys um hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you want more videos like this i do all the videos from the comments so whatever y'all ask i just do it yeah anyways see you in the next video peace out